Hey everyone, I hope you guys are having a great day. So today I have another review for you on another Taiyang um, Nightmare doll collaboration. So this is a review on Taiyang Sakito. He is the guitar player from the band um, Nightmare. So this is another review on one of the Nightmare dolls. He is the fourth one I reviewed. I think I still am missing one. I believe that is Ruka. And so this is my review on him. And as always, I will give you um, any information you need to know, pros and cons, and yada yada yada, and all that goody stuff, right? So let's start talking to you about his wig. So his wig is two-toned. He has, um, as you can see, it it's pretty noticeable. He has um, brown on the top and turquoise at the bottom. His hair is pretty long. And this is how it looks like on the back. I absolutely love, 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 love his wig. It's unique. Um, it's beautiful. It's soft. I have nothing negative to say about this wig. There are no fallouts. It's thick. I just absolutely love his wig. And I think it suits him really well. Especially his face. It goes with his eyes. I absolutely love it. I always have it like this in the front so you could see it. Beautiful wig. Now, let's talk about his um, face up. His face up is gorgeous. Guys, he is my favorite tying. I don't, I, I, honestly, I thought the one that was always my favorite was Ethan or Valco. No, he has won my heart. He is my favorite tying because his face up is so unique. He has these striking gray eyes that go so nicely with that beautiful um, face up that he has. His eyes, he has that shadow um, gothic theme. I love his eyebrows. They're nicely, they're just beautiful. His eyes are just gorgeous. The face up around his eyes. He has these beautiful peach um, cheek color with a nice unique nude lip color. Glossy. I just think he's gorgeous. He is one of my favorites. Just look at him up close. He is my favorite tying. Just beautiful. And then we can move his eyes. Hold on, let me. We can move his eyes left and right. Kind of hard a bit there. And then we could close them. And he just has basic black eyeliner. But he's gorgeous. Okay. Nothing there to say about his face up. Just beautiful. Now let's start talking to you about his interesting yet awesome stock. So his stock consists of different pieces. Um, I guess we could start talking about... Let me take this out. His little fox fur vest. So I could show that to you up close. Let's see, let's see. Um, okay. So he has this fox fur here, um, vest. We have the sequin here detailing here on the side. And we also have it here. And he, we also have like this fake half hood on the top. This is made out of fox fur. It's very soft and good quality. The thing that I would say about him is basically kind of what I said about um, Yomi. The Isu one is that these sequin pieces, if you're not careful, they will fall off. So that's one of the things I don't like about his stock. His, his stock. It happens with the vest and other parts, but it is just nicely made, okay? Now let's start talking to you about, let's see. As you can see, very noticeably, yes, he comes with like a gazillion necklaces. Gazillion, okay? I'm... <laughs> And they're actually, believe it or not, even though you see so many of them, they're in reality just two. This one is one with many layers. And then we have his locket one here. Good material, nice. And I think they it really goes well with his top and the rest of his outfit. His top, as you could see, um, it's white cotton. And it actually has like these little, how can I show it? See these little pieces here that looks like it's torn? It actually is like that. But one of the things I would say about his top, you have to be very careful because this could be easily broken or torn if you're not careful. But it's just overall nice. I will say this part is fragile, but the rest of his top is nice. Made out of cotton. And as you can see, this one has a sleeve and this side doesn't. 
which is really nice, okay? And then um, I start talking to you about his gloves. He has these really cute gloves that go with him nicely. But you have to be careful with these little stones here. Because they are easily undone and they could fall. And then you will lose them. So I would be very careful with this. And on this side he also has it. But he also has these really cute bracelets. And they're actually two. Okay. It is really nice. I actually love, love, love this one. I love this tying. I actually love it. Now, let's start talking to you about his bottom half, right? <laughs> I guess that's the best way to say it. So, all of this is one piece. This is a layered skirt kind of thing here on the top with his pants to the bottom. That is something that a lot of the visual Kai um, culture, or I don't know what I call it, I have to say culture, where they, they're very flashy. And that's the way he is portrayed, and he he is actually he actually dresses like this too. I I love how they portrayed him really well on on doll version, and it's beautiful. We have a lot of sequin sequin layers to the front, to the sides, and here as you can see it to the back, sequin everywhere. I actually love it. It's beautiful, but one of the things I would say. You have to be careful with the sequin because if you handle them too roughly, it could fall. Some little pieces could fall. And he has it on his pants too. Um, I believe with him, I've, I've had a little fallout with it. But overall, it's it stayed, it stayed pretty put, okay? But I would say just be careful. It's very beautiful, his stock. And lastly, he comes with these really cool boots. I don't know if you guys can see them. They're really awesome. I love the amount of detail that they gave these boots. They made of a hard. They're made out of hard plastic, but they're just so freaking cool. I actually lo 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 love it. I actually love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. So, let's see. And that's basically it with his stock. What else? So besides that, he comes with his card. I love it, but I don't feel like they really show his turquoise tips on it, but it's beautiful. I love it. And he actually came with, and when I saw this, I melted. I was like, oh my gosh, oh my god, ultimate fangirl moment. It actually comes with the picture of him, the actual guitar player from Nightmare, actually holding his own doll. Isn't that freaking cool? I was like... Oh my gosh, I was like melting and melting so much. Beautiful. And that's basically um, it. So, um, what would I have to say to you about Sakito? Sakito, oh my gosh, okay. So originally, Sakito, or actually he is the, that was the only way he was available. The only way you could have bought this doll was if he would have been bought in the actual Nightmare Band doll set which was sold on polypstyle.com, they had limited supply and I believe some websites in the UK and in Japan however they were sold out immediately because there was only I think 500 released worldwide so he was out like this so if you wanted to buy him individually there was no way my story let me tell you how it happened I actually was one of the ones that did not buy him when I saw my pull up style because I was hesitant because the pictures didn't really show them too well the dolls I kind of thought they were like Ugh. but I remember after that um, I regretted it because then I had um, I believe it was like two friends that were able to get their hands on his suki and um, I believe on Nia and actually one of them had him and I was like oh my gosh look what I missed out on and I actually started my hunt to get them and I was able to get the others but he was the hardest one to find because of, I don't know I guess people didn't want to sell him and I could see why because he's gorgeous so the way I got him I actually have a friend in Japan who I begged and annoyed like a crazy person so she was really kind and really did her digging around in Japan and asked around and guess what she found one for me the price was painful <laughs> I will tell you that the price was so painful I think this was the most I've ever paid for a tying it was so painful that I don't even want to talk about it that's how painful it was no it wasn't like 500 or 400 but it was painful or 300 and um, I got him like that. That was the only way I got him. And I got him brand new in box and I, and I died. And I was so happy and I was so grateful. So 
how could you get him? You just see the story that I just told you. If you really want to get this tying, I say that he is by luck. If you find him, it will be by luck. Look around Yahoo Japan auctions. Ask around. He is hard to get, but if you do get him, you will love, love him. He is worth it. Don't be surprised that people try to sell him to you for over 200 He is just so hard to get, but he is worth it. However, I do give... Um, I will give you some advice on an alternative. If you want a doll that's similar to him, I will go with Taiyang Akira, the one that was recently released this year. Face-wise, they are similar, but I would say he is a good alternative for him if you cannot find Sakito. I have nothing negative much to say about him, and I'm not even making sense. But yeah, I have nothing really negative to say about him. His stock is unique. He is gorgeous. I have nothing negative to say. I absolutely love him he is my favorite tying my second one is Ruka and that's the one I'm gonna do next um, after this one my next review on a tying love him so I highly recommend them to you if you could find them and you really really want him if not your alternative will be Akira okay so that is basically it that I have to say um, I hope you guys enjoyed my review and I hope you guys have a great day and thank you so much for your support oh i love this every time i see you i'm like oh thank you so much for your support all right bye